Hi dancers! So, before I go to ballet class today, I want to teach all of you something that I've been getting a lot in my um, feedback based on my dancewear, which is how to cut your long Olivia skirt. So as you know, my Olivia skirt is named after Olivia Cowley of the Royal Ballet. She was the one who gave me the idea for this beautiful long skirt. And um, I've been getting a lot of questions about it, like, uh, can you make the skirt shorter? Or can you do different types of lengths? The thing is, all of you are different heights, and I don't know which one suits you best. So the best thing I can do is to teach you how to cut it so that it would suit or it would be at the length that you want it to be. So what you'll need for now is, of course, your own skirt that you got from either my store or any one of the stores. Uh, keep measure. So have that ready and a pair of scissors. Make sure you use scissors that you use for sewing. Not regular scissors, they're different. Um, these ones are sharper and they cut through cloth better. So get scissors that are specifically for cutting fabric. So let's get started. So the first thing I want you to do is to measure from your waist all the way down to where you want your skirt to be. So for example, I want it from here going here only. You take note of where you want your skirt to be. So write that down. Don't forget to write it down. Step two. Step two is to get your skirt and as you see, it's wide right now. What you do is you fold it in half like this. So you're going to fold it in half. And I'm going to lay it on the bed to show you guys how it should look like laid out on the bed. So before you lay it out on the bed, you fold it in half. You get the tip like this and lay it down. So when you lay it on the bed, hey, excuse my little doggy over there, it should look like this. Now I want you to get the tape measure and measure from which side, which part to which part you want it. So once you lay it down like this, so make sure all the parts are even. And I want you to get from which part to which part. So let's say here, because this is where I'm going to cut it. And I want you to mark it. I forgot that you need chalk. So you're going to have to get chalk or anything that you can mark the fabric with. So I'm using a fabric marker. So this is a fabric marker. It's a Japanese one because I get everything at home in Japan. And you mark your way through so for this one is here so same here it's all gonna turn out the same so mark it here again and from here to here mark it here <laughs> Follow the line. Now you can connect the dots in some kind of way. it and ta-da! So it is now a new length of a skirt. This is now shorter and it is now even as you can see. Yeah? Yeah? So now I can wear this skirt and instead of the original length, it is now a shorter length. See? So 
I hope this has helped you a lot, girls. Now you can follow my guide to cutting your own skirts. Don't forget that you have to use a pair of good scissors. That's number one. And have a tape measure with you. Make sure you draw the pattern all the time. As long as you follow the pattern, nothing's gonna turn out wrong or, you know, and so I hope you learned a lot from this video and if you liked it, I hope you can click the like button or I think it's called the flag button now. The one with the arrow. Yeah. And subscribe. So see you guys next time. Bye.